if the people in power or whoever holds the the institutional or the, or the systemic power in a situation can't control something, they will try to eliminate it. They will demonize it and try to eliminate it because it is a direct threat to their ability to maintain power. And so these politicians who are geriatric as fuck are so used to being able to control the narrative, they are completely threatened by the fact that they can't control TikTok. And it's because they can't be controlled. They can't be put into a box. And because of that, if they can't control them, then they want to eliminate them. That's the whole reason why we even have a such thing as conservative news and liberal news. When you think about it, news is neutral. Um, And they were able to control the narrative of what's going on and why things happened the way they did and why our country's response was warranted um, because our, our source of information was strictly the news. Over the last week or so, I've really been thinking about the movie Divergent, which... I know a lot of people have a lot of feelings about it, but I personally love at least the first two movies in that series. Um, But everything that's going on with this TikTok ban has really had me thinking about Divergent, especially the first one when we understand what it means to be Divergent in that world and why they're considered a threat to the system. And it's because they can't be controlled. They can't be put into a box. And because of that, if they can't control them, then they want to eliminate them. And that's exactly what's happening with this TikTok ban. TikTok has provided so many people an opportunity to have a voice when they were never able to have a voice before because we have a way to freely and in an uncensored manner or in a relatively uncensored manner share our lived experiences and in real time. And the way the news is usually used in this country is it's used to push propaganda. That's the whole reason why we even have a such thing as conservative news and liberal news. When you think about it, news is neutral. It's supposed to be a reporting on the things that happen without a bias, but that's not how news is presented in our country. News is presented with a specific slant and a specific goal in mind to evoke a certain reaction out of people and to keep people compliant, to keep people in line and thinking a certain way. And that's why they're vehemently coming after a platform like TikTok, because it doesn't allow them the same kind of control over how information is shared. Like, if we think about um, even just like 20 something years ago with everything that happened with September 11th, Um, This is before the rise of social media. Like we had the Internet, but it definitely wasn't the way that it is now. Um, And they were able to control the narrative of what's going on and why things happened the way they did and why our country's response was warranted um, because our, our source of information was strictly the news. And we learned after the fact, after we had whistleblowers after the rise of social media and the ability to connect with people around the world in real time, how much bullshit was actually injected into our news that like got people on board with us doing atrocities in the Middle East and were there for like over 20 years doing that bullshit off of the back of a very terrible event that I will never downplay. But it also didn't give us or shouldn't have given us such a free reign to just like start doubling down on things and taking away certain freedoms under the guise of being patriots, like the Patriot Act and all that stuff, right? And so these politicians who are geriatric as fuck are so used to being able to control the narrative, they are completely threatened by the fact that they can't control TikTok. They want to control it. They want to force them to sell to an American company so that they can control the information that's put out and how it's put out. That's literally the only reason why. They don't care about our data because if that was the case, then they would be on Meta's ass. But instead, they're taking money from Meta and so Meta can do no wrong. But TikTok refuses to sell to an American company. TikTok refuses to lobby our politicians and line their pockets and because they can't control it they are afraid of it 
And um, yeah, I have a lot of feelings about the movie Divergent and the analogies that it has when it comes to so many different things in our society. But overall, the, the message can be applied to many different areas. If the people in power or whoever holds the, the institutional or the, or the systemic power in a situation can't control something, they will try to eliminate it. They will demonize it and try to eliminate it because it is a direct threat to their ability to maintain power. That's all that's going on here, period. They don't care about our data. They want our data. They want more access to our data, actually. They want to be able to feed us information through TikTok, as opposed to us sharing our own lived experiences in real time. And they also want to sanitize the information that's coming out because they need us to believe certain things so that we can continue to just blindly and inadvertently in many ways be complicit in atrocities, both at home and abroad. And I'm glad that more people are starting to wake up to it, but it's still like a slow realization for a lot of people who are still stuck in their their ways. I'm so grateful for the younger generations because they smell the bullshit from a mile away. And um, these politicians haven't caught up to the fact that they're using all these old tactics that really only work with geriatric fucks like them. And... Um, they're dying. They're on their way out. Like, they got two toes in the grave. <laughs> like, they're not pandering to the right audience, right? They're doing things that are highly unpopular with the people who are slowly but surely becoming the majority of their constituents and their voting base. They haven't gotten with the program yet. And I feel like if they really do push this TikTok ban through and it really does get signed into law, November is going to be mad funny. That's all I'm going to say on that. Thank you.